well who said freedom doesn't come cheap let me introduce to you a device called freedom 251 which is priced at 251 rupees that is 4 us dollars and it's a full-fledged android smartphone launched in india just few days back and the event was attended by political personalities but don't get it wrong the device doesn't get any type of government subsidy and still the company that made the device is going to make a profit of 31 rupees that is half us dollars per phone the company I'm talking about is called Ringing Bells which is just a 3 months old Noida based company and believe it or not their website freedom251.com got 6 lakh that is 600,000 hits per second. As a result their server was down for a while and despite all of this mess in 2 days around 7 crore people could register for the device and around 30,000 people paid. The company didn't expect such a response and ultimately they stopped taking booking anymore. I've also registered for the device but didn't really get any mail or the payment information. Interestingly, yesterday the company made a statement on their Facebook page stating they're in the process of compiling the mails and they're gonna send you the payment gateway details where you are requested to kindly make the payment of amount rupees 251 against your specific order ID. They didn't mention the 40 rupees shipping cost. So you can expect a mail from them anytime soon. Now what's really going on, how is this even possible? A good 8 gig memory card even cost more. At 251 rupees you get 1 gig of 3G data for 1 month only so everything sounds too good to be true. Now let me explain and share my personal opinion about this mysterious device. Now those who have followed the launch of this device must have noticed that the brand name above the display has been painted white to hide it and this is such a hyped device so many people have attended the launch. Did they honestly think no one would notice that? What a joke. How can you show off another company's device at a launch? Even if you are importing the same device from China at least get some sample devices from them. Well, people are saying this is a made in India initiative, that's why you're getting white tikka that is bivuti on the forehead and that's the only explanation I can give you guys. Jokes apart, the phone that has been showcased on the launch event is basically Atcom's Icon 4 which is available on Flipkart at 3699 rupees that is quite reasonable considering the specs. In fact, company's president Ashok Chadda said the bill for the materials of this device is worth 2500 rupees and if we add tax, import, duty, supply chain cost, the pricing of this device should be around 3500 to 4000 rupees. So is this a big scam? Are they going to run away with the money? Or they are just doing this to get free media attention and get featured in leading national and international news portals. There is also a third possibility. For your information, the company has said they are going to take 5 million orders and the delivery of the phones will start in June. Now the price for these 50 lakh devices including shipping is 145 crore and if they just deposit the money into a bank after 4 months they will earn an interest of 4.3 crore that is more than 1 crore in a month. They can cancel the bookings and refund the money to the customers anytime and guess what they have earned 4.3 crores in just 4 months. So what an idea. By the way the good news is this company has come under the scanner of excise and income tax departments over how it has managed to offer a smartphone as cheap as this and moreover this company that is ringing bells is not associated or listed with bureau of indian standards and in the absence of this no company can sell their products inside india so everything about this device is quite suspicious well, have you seen the movie called Kingsman The Secret Service where SIM cards were given for free with free internet and free calling? The villain Valentine wanted to wipe out all the people on earth, engaging them in fighting and here it's even better ringing bells is giving away phones at almost no price. So there is another good possibility. Again jokes apart, the company claims their loss can be recovered through tie up with other startups, innovative marketing, reduction in duties, economies of scale and selling the device using the online media. But still 251 rupees for a smartphone doesn't really sound believable. Well if at the end the company actually pulls this off then it's got to be a seriously brilliant and thought out business model. Let's wait and see. Well let me now give you a quick walkthrough of this device. This Freedom 251 aka Atcom Icon 4 looks very similar to the iPhone both on the hardware and software. 
starting from the back button below the display and lack of any capacitive key a sound profile button above the volume rocker just like the one you have on iphone 6s 6s plus etc even the volume rockers are just identical and the camera and the flash design have been copied as well and at the bottom the loudspeaker design is also just the same Last but not the least, look at the icons. They have the same rounded corner design of Apple and if we call this initiative a part of Make in India or Digital India initiative then shame on us. If the company sells like 5 million pieces in India then definitely this is going to attract Apple's attention and they are going to sue this company. Then only 145 crore won't be enough. This will also badly affect Make in India campaign's credibility. For your information, India's defense minister was the chief guest of the launch event but luckily he couldn't make it. So if ringing bells actually pulls this off then they should definitely change the design and the interface of this device. Otherwise something really bad can happen because Apple is very skeptical about its patents and this phone is beyond out just a shameless copy of the iPhones. Now let me quickly give you a quick hands on of this device. After unboxing you get the device and uh, all the standard accessories like a 5V 1A charger, a flat USB cable for charging as well as data syncing and uh, a very attractive looking earphones. The earpieces looks and feels very premium and the sound quality is also quite decent. The remote has a push button for answering and ending calls. There is a microphone hole as well. A scratch guard also comes free. The phone runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop and there is a custom interface over it with icons like iOS. Now the display over here is a 4 inches IPS LCD screen and though the company says this is a quarter HD screen it's basically a WVGA that is a 480 by 800 pixels resolution screen and the display quality doesn't seem bad at all. The color reproduction is good and the viewing angles are also not bad. The RAM on this device is 1GB and out of the box you get 620MB free of RAM that is quite good actually, enough for playing lots of hardcore games. The internal space is 8GB and 5.46GB is available right now. There is no capacitive key on this device and you cannot swipe to go back. The button here works as the back and the silent key works like iPhones and it's quite handy sometimes. Again you can double tap the back button to get the app switcher. This is again an iOS feature. You can scroll through apps and also swipe to dismiss or close all the apps at once with this. Well the system UI has crashed. So these are the things you will experience now and then. You can also press and hold this back or home button and instead of Google now you get this menu option. When you are in an application, it's quite handy actually. You get the options menu from the top right corner. As you know, on typical Android devices, you get this by tapping and holding the app switcher. Guys, there is a very interesting thing I've just found. There is an image here and the guy who tested the device didn't actually do a factory reset and you get a quick glimpse of his workspace. I've run some benchmarks on this device and the scores are actually quite decent. On Antutu 6, the phone managed 17,583. This Freedom 251 that is Icon 4 sports 1.3GHz quad-core Cortex S7 processor and the GPU is Mali 400MP. So you can expect to play most of the mid-range games and some of the high-end games at low FPS. I've also here the 3D Mark Gamers benchmark and the score is again decent 1673 on iStorm Extreme. There you get the breakup, you can pause and check. Well guys, we are almost at the end of this video and looks like this is a really capable device with good looks and decent specs but 251 rupees for a smartphone seems totally fishy but I'll say go ahead get this device. 251 rupees is nothing nowadays and this Freedom 251 has become quite popular so you can basically show off. I know despite all of these suspicions you are definitely getting one if you get a chance and I'll suggest you not to use your sensitive apps like Gmail, banking apps etc and who knows the ringing bells guys are actually inspired by the movie Kingsman. Again just joking I have nothing personal with the company and if they can actually make this happen then I'll make another video praising them. So that's enough for today thanks a lot guys for watching if you have really found this video interesting and helpful then do subscribe now and keep in touch.
This is Shukesh Banik and have a nice day guys.